IHTN Studios. It's Braves Beat. Hello and welcome to our first episode of Fourth Quarter 2021. I'm Dylan Condor. And I'm Isaac Fiore. So, Dylan, do you know what Beethoven's favorite food is? Um, an apple? No, it was banana. -na. Not funny. Well, if there's any news this week, so let's get started. April is Autism Month. The Autism Society of America, the nation's oldest leading grassroots autism organization, is proud to celebrate Autism Acceptance Month in April of 2021 with its Celebrate Differences campaign. Designed to build a better awareness of the signs, symptoms, and realities of autism, hashtag Celebrate Differences focuses on providing information and resources for communities to be more aware of autism, promote acceptance, and be more inclusive in everyday life. Click the link in the description for more information. Indian Hill High School gives a shout out to student artist Michelle Fu. Her artwork was selected to be one of the pieces to be displayed in Ohio Governor's Youth Art Exhibition out of 6,280 entries, submitted from 2,441 students from all across Ohio. Last Wednesday, during FlexBlog, our student government officers' candidates presented their speeches via IHTN1 YouTube channel live stream. The voting occurred on Canvas afterwards, and the winning team for 2021 and 2022 was Izzy Lynn Jokula for president, Luke Folke as vice president, Elizabeth Whaley as secretary, and Sam Rode as treasurer. We would also like to recognize the other slate of officers for running a great campaign. Special thanks to Claire Hardick, Nikhil Nayak, Hunter Gillen, and Sanibel Betts. Congratulations to all of these fine students. Ethan Marks just accepted the Jefferson Scholarship, which is a premier undergraduate scholarship offered at the University of Virginia. Marks was also offered the Presidential Fellows Program at Miami University. This program is an elite scholarship opportunity which will provide the brightest of best scholars and leaders of the 21st century with an unprecedented and exceptional college experience. A big congratulations to Ethan Marks on earning both the Presidential Fellowship at Miami and Jefferson Scholarship at the University of Virginia. Today is Teacher Appreciation Day here at Indian Hill, and our PTO has sponsored a special luncheon for our fabulous teachers. Jill James, Jade Zarco, and Racy Tuttle went out in the building to interview some of our students. Roll the clip. Hey y'all, um, it's Jill James, and y'all know today, Teacher Appreciation Day here at Indian Hill High School. And we all love the staff, the teacher, administrator, principals, whoever. Everyone here is great. However, today I went around and I asked students if they had to choose who is their favorite teacher. So let's get into it. Okay, who's your favorite teacher? Mr. Saeed. Oh, okay, why? Um, I've had him since sophomore year and he has taught me a lot and I just think he's a good person. That's good. I like Mr. Saeed too. Okay, Mrs. Campbell. Okay, and why is Mrs. Campbell your favorite teacher? Because she's very good at her job and she's very kind. That's good. Who's your favorite teacher? All of my teachers. Why? Because they all know me basically and uh, they're so nice to me. That's good. Okay. Uh, my favorite teacher is Mr. Cobb. Ooh, why is Mr. Cobb your favorite teacher? Because uh, he's just a nice person. Yeah. Miss Shirts. Okay, why? Because she's funny. Okay. <laughs> Who's your favorite teacher? Mrs. Smith. Okay, why? Because she's a dope engineering teacher. Okay, yeah. Engineering is hard. Yes, it is. Do you feel appreciated at, at the school? I do. More now than ever. Oh. I appreciate you. Well, that's nice to know. Okay. Okay, bye, Mr. Dubs. Yeah. What do you appreciate most about the teachers at this school? Um, I feel like they're always willing to really work with me. You know, like, if I need something, if I uh, miss a deadline, or if I'm sick or out, they're always, you know, right there. They can uh, help me with what I need, uh, talk to me before school, after school. They're, uh, yeah, they're always there to help, and they, they want to work with you. Who's your favorite teacher? Dubs. It's, it's, it's definitely Dubs. He's not in the room. <laughs> he's not. In, he's not in the room. Uh, Sean, who's your favorite teacher? Uh, my favorite teacher is gonna have to be uh, Miss Jackson, just because she's always 
Got the spirit. Uh, she's up and up and active. Always been kind to me. I'd have to say Mr. Ignatz. He's pretty fun. Um, what do you What do you appreciate about him? Um, he's like super understanding, and he just like makes like the class super fun, and he makes like he makes it a good learning environment. Yeah, I like Mr. Ignatz too. So, what do you appreciate about the teachers at this school? Um, I appreciate that they're really caring and they actually consider the students a lot. Who's your favorite teacher? It, it's still Mr. Dubs. Okay, so it didn't change? I, yeah, I, I can't see him. He's definitely not staring yeah, at me right he's now. He's not. Yeah, um, Dubs. It's definitely Dubs. Okay, great. Thanks to our amazing teachers and the PTO for all you do for our school. Now let's toss it over to sport reporters Dougie and Mateo. Guys? Hello, Braves. We are now into the spring sports season with all sports in full swing. I'm Dougie Zhang along with Mateo Lopez for this week's sports report. Mateo? Starting off with girls lacrosse, our three varsity captains for the 2021 season are Marina, Cam, and Maria. Congratulations on being selected and good luck this season. The girls team starts the season at home on Shawnee Field versus Sacred Heart Academy this Wednesday, April 7th. They play again at Shawnee Field on Saturday with a doubleheader. They play at 10 a.m. versus Bishop Watterson and then again at 1 p.m. versus Bishop Hartley. Good luck as you kick your season off to a fast start. Now over to our boys' lax team, who lost their first away game to a very strong St. Xavier High School team, 6-16. They followed up with a big win at home versus the Dayton Carroll Patriots on Saturday, March 20th, by a convincing 16-1 score. The boys play again this week at Wyoming on Wednesday, April 7th, and again this Saturday at home versus Henry Clay at 5.30 p.m. Come out and support your team or tune into IHTN1 YouTube channel for the live stream of this home game. Our number one in the state Division II boys tennis team opened up their season at home versus Sycamore High School B team and won 5-0 on Monday, then lost a close 2-3 match to Sycamore's A team on Tuesday. They play at Mason today, April 9th, and will be back home again on Saturday, April 10th for St. Xavier High School from Kentucky. They are home again on Monday, April 12th versus Madeira. Good luck, Tennis Braves. Our boys track and field team placed 10th at Northmont Invitational this past Saturday, April 3rd. Special shout out to Dylan Haar and Thompson for placing first in the discus event with a throw of 132.6. Wow. Our girls track and field team placed fifth out of 15 teams at the Northmont Invitational on Saturday, April 3rd as well. Special shout out goes to Elizabeth Whaley for placing first in the 800 meter run with a time of two minutes and 20.83 seconds, which is a Northmont Invitational record. Way to go, Elizabeth. The boys and girls track and field teams will be competing at Madeira on Wednesday, April 7th. Results should be posted on the athletics webpage tonight after the meet. They also will participate in the Coaches Classic this Saturday, April 10th. Our Braves will be hosting the Indian Hill Relays on Tuesday, April 13th. Come out and cheer on your Braves or tune in to watch this event on IHTM1 YouTube channel. Our boys baseball team played an away game at Roger Bacon this past Saturday and lost a really close game with a final score of 3-0. Boys baseball had their first home league game Monday, April 5th against Deer Park. The Braves won 15-9. Luke Hammond won a perfect zero for zero on the day, getting hit by three pitches and getting walked two more times. Freshman Nick Rinala also had a great game on the mound. The girls softball opening game was Monday, April 5th against Deer Park. They had a rough going in this game, but should bounce back when they get more playing time in. Well, that's all the sports news we have for this week. For Dougie Zhang, I'm Mateo Lopez, back to the news desk. Indian Hill DECA had record-breaking numbers this year with 41 students finishing in DECA State Top 10. IHHS senior Lauren Sewell set a school record, earning three DECA State champion titles. Wow! Our Science Olympiad team competed virtually from our school in the Science Olympiad Regional Competition on March 6th. During the competition, several curveballs were set against us, but Mrs. Blankenship and Mr. Brocksterman led the team well, landing 11th of 47 teams. Good job, Braves. Production for this year's Pow Wow, Hello Dolly, is beginning to ramp up this week as the cast and crew prepare for this Saturday's q to q rehearsal from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. The show begins next week, Thursday, April 15th, 
and run through Sunday, April 18th. Pow Wow presents the 2021 production of Hello Dolly. I'm here on the set this morning. We are so excited that we're going to be able to maintain this unique program event this year. I'm here with director and teacher Jeff Clark and also Brooke Youngblood. Tell me, how excited are you? It's just amazing that we actually have live entertainment returning. I think we all are just ready for that to come back. And just hearing the music, seeing the set, having our students on this stage again, just brings a tear to your eye to know that live performance is back in Indian Hill. Brooke, tell me, what does it feel like to be back on stage? It's been so special. Um, it's been a while since I've done a show or even seen a show, you know, since the world shut down and everything. Um, and to be able to play this role has been such a sweet moment. Um, and it's been really full circle. I am hopeful, Brooke, that maybe to Today, you'll give us a little insight into the show and maybe share a couple of your special lines if you don't mind. Yes, I'd love to. Um, so some of my favorite lines that I sing in the show, there's one song called So Long Deary and at the end after this whole vaudeville walk across the platform, um, there's this moment and she sings, should have said so long, so long ago. And then of course there's the really special moment as I'm walking down the staircase. Hello, Harry, well, hello, Louie. It's so nice to be back home where I belong. You're looking swell, Danny. I can tell, Manny. You're still glowing, you're still crowing, you're still going strong. Tickets are on sale now. Get yours. Hello Dolly 2021 Pow Wow. We can't wait. Please wish your friends and fellow students luck as they head into Tech Week. Seniors. This year, senior speeches for both the commencement ceremony and the senior celebration of excellence will be selected through an audition based process. We invite anyone and everyone to apply who is interested in giving one of these speeches. The application is in your Canvas announcements and is due by 3 p.m. on Wednesday, April 21st. For any additional information, please see Mrs. Cottrell in the counseling office. Welcome runners and walkers of all ages. Help celebrate our hashtag One Brave community by joining in the 10th annual Conquer the Hill 5K, starting Saturday, April 24th. Thanks to our sponsors, there will be no cost to participate. And because of the race is virtual, anyone from anywhere can join in on the fun. Help our hashtag One Brave reach around the globe. Participants can register online at Indian Hill Foundation starting April 24th. That's all the news we have for this week. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us for any school updates. So Isaac, do you know what our favorite vegetable is? Uh, let me guess, Brave's beet? No, it's carrots. Oh. Well, as always, Stay, Stay classy, classy, Indian Hill. Hill. Uh, uh, Isaac? Uh, no, I'm, I'm the intern. Um, <laughs> not, not liking that. All right, oh, uh, get out. Okay, oh, not. oh, okay, okay. Please, out, out. Hello everybody, uh, ladies and gentlemen. We have today Elwa Banyoy. Everybody knows him, everybody loves him. He has his own podcast known as Outside of Us, and he is the producer, director, and host of this show. Everybody, let's welcome him on. Elwa, come on, on stage. How are you? Um, Put the mic on you. How are you? I'm doing. Trip over here, nice. Yeah, it was it was good. Okay, so um, this podcast outside of us, what's it about? Uh, it's an educational podcast about world events going on uh, at the moment. All right, uh, your friend and co-host uh, Nikhil uh, once called you an absolute clown. I happen to agree with that <laughs> sentiment. It's wrong. It's wrong. Yeah, it's wrong. All right. Well, Eloa, I want you to know that I do have a large bucket of water um, attached above you, you do. that I will be uh, pouring down if I get more lies <laughs> from you. So why is the, uh, why is it scripted? Are you afraid that you'll be honest? <laughs> <laughs> it's scripted so that we all uh, make sure to include the proper information. Well, I, I, it's not really. What? 
I just, I don't think you're telling the truth. You're not like letting it go. Get out of here. So let's get back to the questions. I'm sorry about that. You believe in magic? In magic? No. All right. Oh. Are we doing a magic trick? Well, yeah, you believe in magic, right? I, I just said no. Take a card. I'll just, card. I'll pick a card, yeah. Okay. That's a good one. What's it say? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> bon yoi, bon need, bon lol. So it's bon lol, right? No. Okay, so like, would you say like a tarot card reading? Do you know what that would mean? In terms of tarot card readings, um, I'd say this is definitely less, lower quality. And then I just happened to pick my name, but I don't think that means anything. You don't think it means anything? No. Well, you said it was magic, so it has to have some sort of meaning. Very well. I guess it means that um, I, I felt the need to point out that you don't know how to say my name. That's what it meant. And this is why you lose more points as a host. I'm, I'm losing points as a host? This is a funny gimmick. <laughs> is it? Jimmy Fallon did this with, uh, like, Oliver Green. Yeah, but it's failing miserably. Here, let me hold these. Okay. <laughs> Oh no! Um, uh, we'll, we'll be right.